The average person spends 10 hours and 39 minutes looking at a screen every single day. That's according to a 2016 American poll, and that's a problem for our eyes. It can lead to what's being called digital eye strain, burning, itchy, dry eyes. But this week, an Edmonton-based startup is garnering attention at the largest trade show in the entire world for resetting those negative effects of excessive screen time with this, what they're calling thermal meditation. With just over 4,000 exhibitors, it's hard to stand out at the Consumer Electronics Show, but the You May Rest did just that, winning a CES Innovation Award in the Tech for a Better World category. As fancy as it looks, it's a product with humble origins. If you describe me a uh, warm, wet towel to address my eye health. A few years ago, Ali Habib was diagnosed with digital eye strain, and he's not alone. A recent Alberta Association of Optometrists study found that 71% of Albertans suffer. Habib says it can affect those as young as six or seven. Staring at screens, it turns out, causes us to blink far less than we should. Every time we blink, there's these tiny glands that run across the edge of our eyelid. And when, we, when those blinks come in contact with each other, it releases like a, an oil that coats the surface of our eye. Without blinking, those glands clog up and eyes dry out. For this very modern ailment, Habib's doctor suggested a pretty old-school treatment to help those oils flow, heat, in the form of a warm, wet towel. As an engineer, he thought there must be a better way. We started to look at how do we make it more convenient, and one of the things that we asked ourselves is uh, how do we deliver instant therapeutic heat? Designed to be warm before bed, the You May Rest offers a timed heat cycle at the press of a button. In a world of increasing screen time and potential health consequence, Habib hopes his product can remind the users to maintain a healthy relationship with technology. Our calm and clarity are just as relevant as our ambition and progress. From South Edmonton, Connor Donovan, City News.